Everyone, thank you so much for the support in the first episode of Reventure. Always warms me cock to see you guys support random games like this. It's always nice when you find a good one. So thank you guys so much for the support. Not sure if we'll beat the game. Um, we'll try to find as many endings as we possibly can, and we'll have some fun with it while we're doing it. So yeah, thank you so much. Also, it's my birthday, so if you're watching this on the day I post, I'll probably be live later on Twitch for a birthday stream if you guys want to stop by. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And here we are, guys, back on Reventure. Doing a little hobo dance over here. Already grabbed the hook shot and the sword, and I think we're gonna head up into here, because I wanted to get up here last time, but wasn't able to, and I think this little hook shot's gonna get us in here. So, what is in this chest? It is nuclear warhead? All right, let's try putting the nuclear warhead inside the cannon. Oh my God, it works. Is that an ending? After getting tired of the traditional adventure tactics, Jesus decided to take a more direct approach in destroying the Dark Lord. Oh shit, so that means we got a little spoiler, I bet that tower must be over there and that might be where the princess actually is. It was super effective. Ending 27 of 100. Now I wonder if you take that nuclear warhead and put it in that other cannon we found last time, I bet we can find something cool over yonder. I mean, I'm gonna skip the, uh, the hook shot and we're just gonna head to the right here, something we haven't done before. And see if we find some cool stuff. What's in here? A bomb? You got bombs? Sweet! Oh, can we go down there? Oh. So we can bomb to the right here, it looks like. Or we can go down. I'm gonna go down. Oh, shit. What do we have here? The well shaft. We got a bomb in here as well. So we'll, we'll make that happen. Wait, are we hanging on the wall? What the? Oh, we weren't hanging on the wall. We were like... Glitched in there. I thought we were like wall climbing. What's this button do? That releases that shaft. But if we want to get over here, we'd have to do it now. Dude, there is there is so much to this game, man. There really is. Okay, let's bomb this real quick. Hopefully I'm not in range to die. It was pretty close, honestly. Um, How do we get up to that chest? Caution piranhas. I can see him moving around the water down there. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not afraid of no piranha. Alright! I should be afraid of him. Well, that was a, so a sad ending. Maybe Jesus couldn't read the sign. Maybe he didn't know what a piranha was. Maybe he was just an idiot. Probably the latter. Well, what he surely was. Piranha food. Go swimming. Death 7 of 100. Okay, so it seems like we can we can do a bunch of different uh, different endings down there. Um, also, we got one ending accidentally off camera, so I think I'm going to show that to you guys at the end of the video um, because I didn't know it was going to happen. I was just fooling around off camera and found an ending. Uh, the guard found Lump's body, body next to the lake and moved it home. His lucky hat was lost somewhere. Uh, so now everyone would realize his outstanding baldness. Wonderful. Um, cool. Let's, uh, let's head back over to that area and see what cool stuff we can find. All right, we got our bombs again. Let's head on down, guys. I really want to see what else is in this area, considering... We can still go down here too, we need to remember that. I want to see if there's more stuff over yonder way though. Um, I want to see if we can get up here with a hook shot. There's also a lever right below me, so we need to keep that in mind. Um, I'm not necessarily sure how we're supposed to get down there, but um, we can definitely get up here. There's a little door right here. Oh. Is that trying to indicate that we can go right here as well? I don't really understand the point of that. If I'm missing something then there, I'm sorry. What do we have here? You got the fishing rod. Oh shit, you can fish in this game? Wait, why are we dead? <laughs> After picking up that fishing rod, Lum felt the urge to go fishing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the minutes turned into hours. The hours turned into years. And the years turned into a dead princess who was never rescued. <laughs> well, we finally got to see the princess, guys. <laughs> Oh shit, dude, this game is fucking hilarious. Okay, um, we'll have to keep that in mind to not go fishing anymore. Um, definitely not a good idea. So let's head back there and not go fishing this time. <laughs> Lump remembered that the fishing days with his dad... Wait, Lump remembered the fishing days with his dad every time he had a piranha for dinner. No time for melancholy. Let's go find an adventure. Wow, I was, uh, I was not expecting that at all. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys over there once again. Let's see what's down the hole this time. Let's give, we'll give that a look. Um, where was the entrance into that little place with the lever? Was it right up here? There it was. I knew it was somewhere around there, dude. Short term memory, I guess, guys. Anyway, let's head on in. See what's down here. 
Ice caverns, dude? Cistern? Wait, could we go left as well? I just want to make sure. Uh, progress is a little slow in this area. Oh, there's that lever. Oh, look, we have a little dead fishing buddy over there. Oh, what does that do for us? Time out. Wait, can we beat this? Oh, well, we might as well explore over here. Holy crap, dude, that's awesome. Um, what's going on up here? Nothing. And then, can we do anything up here? I don't think we can make that jump. This doesn't do anything for us. Oh, that's back to the castle. You see that? It looks like if we just drop straight down from up there and hang to the right, you might be able to get in this hole there. So I think we'll do that later. But for right now, I think we're like soft locked in this direction. It's probably not the term. Also, dig spot right there. We need to bring a shovel back. Okay, cool, we're flooring. Let's uh, hop up on, up on this and see what we can find. Okay, that was not my best effort, but we'll get it next time. We're hitting our head on something. What does that do for us? We can't go, we can't hook shot, we can't do anything. Okay, um, well, con consider me confused. Anyway, off to the right over here. If anyone knows what to do there, let me know. Um, I actually can't jump while I'm in the dead piranha water, so I guess we gotta go back the long way. Including needing to bomb some things over here. Interesting. Okay, um, well, let's bomb this and head back down into the cistern. Where <laughs> everyone loves entering the cistern. Oh, dude, these busy work bombs over here, bro beans. This is fun though, even if we don't make too much progress in terms of uh, stuff like that, at least we know the area a little better. We know to do the shovel next time, help us out. Um, well, this looks like I'm gonna die here in the flooded caves. I, I can't jump when in the water, by the way, guys. But that can launch me by itself. So this is probably a little puzzle based. Does the water have any effect on me? No. I'm gonna head down into the left first. Hello, resting place. Wait, is that a hint above me? What's that white thing right above me? I don't know. All right, resting place. I guess we'll we'll check it out. Juan Delgado rests here. Um, he'd be remembered for QA and additional code. Okay. And it looks like we got another sign here. There's no rest for the damned. Hello. Um. Okay. Unless I don't know what I'm doing, there's nothing for me to do there that I'm aware of. Probably need to bring a certain item or something. Who fucking knows, man? Haven't found an ending in a little while here, guys. Maybe I suck. I'm gonna keep with the down to the left strategy. Oh, oh, the fall into multiple rocks was painful. <laughs> Shit, dude. Oh, but Lump was okay and ready to get back into the adventure. Okay, so we got a death right as I complained about not being able to die. Wait, no, he wasn't. <laughs> Game just ends forever. All right, so that's death number eight. Um, pretty cool stuff. Awesome. All right, let's uh, let's head back down in there and go to the right this time. Oh, let's try to do this one, guys. There it is. We got it. Where does it take us, though? A sign? End of secret passage. No, it's not. I don't play kind to signs that lie to me. Real end of secret passage. No, it's not. Bro, who thinks of this shit, man? Unless I'm missing so Wait, actually, I maybe you could jump back there. I gotta try, guys, just in case. I mean, there's just a slight chance you can jump and go up or something. You never know, dude. Oh my god. It wasn't the end. But with that said, there's there's nothing new you can do there. So it was like, kind of the end. Um, Do I need to blow up any more bombs here? Or can I just bypass that? I don't think so. Cool stuff. Um, I don't know if that did anything for me, but you know, at least we found it, and now we know it's there. So that's that's promising. Anyway, we're back inside of our cistern, um, so that's good. God, that's a that's a fun little play on words we have there, isn't it? Okay, let's. Uh, we got full jumpy jump too, which is actually pretty nice. Hopefully, we won't need to hook claw. Let's go up and to the right. We'll make that. Oh, what do we find here? Absolutely nothing. Maybe. Cool stuff. The waterfall kill us? We can't jump anyway, so I guess we're heading to the right here. Which is Dark Cliff. Seems like there's a little hint up there. We don't want to run into this feller. 
I still haven't found the real princess, dude. Oh shit, he was hiding in the grass, never saw some, dude. Another dig spot right there. We need to bring our diggy boy. That's what we definitely need to bring. Wait, I think I know where we are. We've been here before. Have we ever gone right here? Maybe. Oh yeah, we definitely been here before. Okay, so this is where we activate the elevator. Falling into those spikes below us will kill us. But last time, I believe up here at the top, we fell into the middle into a death pit. So this time we're gonna go to the right, if memory serves correctly. Also, that might be a hint right there, but I don't wanna deal with it. Okay, actually we can still get to that hint, can't we? What is this hint gonna tell us? Hints, purple little cuties. Okay, awesome, thanks for that intel game. Oh, please don't tell me that's like a, Oh, we're stuck on something there, man. Let's just go fall into the spikes. Actually, it looks like we can progress le No, I didn't want to fall down here. Oh, jeez. I think we're fine, though. We can... Oh, it's not ogre here. All right, that's good to know. Okay. Not having a sword's gonna make this tough, though. The question is, without the hook claw, am I able to make that jump down there? I don't think I could. Let them fall off. I think I might be able to make this actually. Oh my god, I did. Can we get some oh my god he did in the comment section, guys? Um, what does this sign say? Minion headquarters. Let's see what the button does. I have to... All right, looks like we're going to the right, guys. We got a Microsoft door down here? Do you guys see that? Little colors, little colors on it? Up or to the right? Dude, the problem is remembering where we've gone in the future. Oh, I gotta touch it. Wait. I think this is probably below that anvil I found earlier. I mean, it's called the anvil yard, so I would assume so. Oh, this is that... Okay, I know where we are then. Okay, so let's go back and go to the right then. That was the elevator that took us up to the anvil last time. We're slowly getting our bearings, guys. It's important. We're fucked here. And I think we jumped the anvil last time and found the princess. I guess we gotta go touch the anvil maybe this time. Or... Oh, jeez, I have no clue, dude. I have no clue. The problem is, it's, it's one decision, one one butterfly effect of a hallway. You don't go down, you'll never see an ending over there unless you come back. That's what it is. This is, yep, this is, we can't jump up to that. I don't want to touch this though, man. I know that's just going to kill us. Help, I'm not feeling well. Yeah, fuck that. Nope, definitely not. I'm touching the anvil. <laughs> we got a new anvil. And we're dead. Saw that coming. Just want to say, I knew that was coming, game. You don't fool me. Lump couldn't resist the temptation of an adding that sexy anvil to his inventory and fell right into the infamous anvil yard. He survived the fall for a few seconds until the anvil crushed his adventurous skull into an adventurous tiny pieces. Um, ending 22 of 100. Okay, guys, I can't help it. I think I'm gonna go get the hook claw again. Go, go grab the bomb from the shop and see what happens if you load the nuclear warhead into the other cannon. <laughs> I have an anvil on my head now. This is awesome. Oh, dude, what the? There's a bird up there inside of that nest. You guys remember that nest from last time? It looks like it keeps progressing. Maybe we don't get over there to do the thing. I had to kill it, guys. I just couldn't help. I It might have even talked to me. I don't know. But that's an ending, I'll tell you that much. Oh, jeez, now I'm sad. Lump shouldn't have messed with that chicken. It's a huge chicken family quickly came and devoured our hero. Dude, it's like Kakariko Village in Zelda. Who remembers that shit? What the fucking chicken, man? Um, that was ending 19 of 100. Wait, what the hell? Oh, no. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, it was it was number 63 total. That's why I was so far down there. Sorry, I got lost. <laughs> I'm stupid. Um, Lump's DNA penetrated one of those chicken cells and was passed to one of its tiny eggs. Sometimes later, a cute hybrid was born and our hero can't read. Cool, I'm a little chicken fucker now, dude. That's pretty neato. Um, anyway, let's go grab a nuclear warhead with a chicken. That could, that could be a storyline. Um, actually, I need a hookshot to do that. 
and we're gonna fast travel guys look at this dude I know the map now man look at me look at me and we also don't know where this takes us this could be this could be interesting what the fuck the cannon exploded violently sending Chuck right into a rock Using cannons was indeed a fast way to move around, but not the safest one. I deserve it, dude. A 95% uptime guaranteed policy is not enough sometimes. Public transport next time. Shit. Unreal, dude. I was like bragging about how I know the map, I'm gonna get over there quickly. I wonder if that cannon still works sometimes. I kind of want to check it out, because I do want to load a nuclear warhead into it. Chuck received millions from the cannon company, but spent all of it on medical care and cosmetic surgery. Remember, Chuck, those cannons have a 5% fail chance. Oh, I'm like a sexy princess now. God, reconstructive surgery is nuts, man. I can't wait till I'm like 35. I might do some myself and give myself a nice pair of bosoms right on my breast spot. Um, so that's definitely in my future. All right, well, the 5% fuck us this time. Where do you take me, cannon? Hopefully this goes past this door. I kind of want to see what's past that one area I can't progress past. Um, but alas, it did not. But that's okay. That That is okay. Let's... What up, shotgun dude? And now here we are. We got our nuclear warhead again. So let's grab that. And then I will catch you guys back over at the cannon. Okay, I kind of borked myself here. Um, I accidentally grabbed the sword, which I think made me too heavy to progress any further. Um, although, I guess... We can grab the shovel and head back right. This is gonna make us really heavy, dude. We might also just want to start throwing some of the stuff into the altar. You know what I mean? We've never really done any of that before. Cool. Let's kill that dude. Jump through the house. We have absolutely no lift on us anymore. This is not the happiest of jumps. I'm gonna be mad if I somehow die before we get over to the cannon, because I put a lot of effort into this cannon. It was, it's a lot of moving parts to make this happen. Dude, killing this thing feels good. Holy shit. All right, um, let's do this. Oh, we made it, dude. There's nothing stopping us now. Okay, let's put the nuclear warhead in. There it is. And what happens when this happens? The nuclear warhead was too delicious to waste. So Chuck took it to a very specific cannon. Oh, that's the shopkeeper, isn't it? And rejoice. Wait, is it? What just happened? Oh, yeah, it is the shopkeeper. <laughs> oh, God. That dude just got bopped. Okay, he has to be officially dead now. Um, That was ending number 56, I think. Holy crap. Um, So we'll have to go back to the shop now and see what that did in the butterfly effect of things. Chuck woke up with a sadistic smile on his face, ready to help more people. All right, shop buddy. What do you look like? Ooh, there's a hole in the roof. Wait, is that new against the wall there? Get out of my shop, you bastard. Make one false move and I'll use this thing. Okay, so nothing happened to him. Um, yeah, nothing seemingly happened there. Interesting. Well, let's let's shoot back right then and we'll, we'll see what we can do over this way. I wanna come up and over this. Wait, we've never shot this far before. Wait, yeah, we have. That's that's normal shoot distance. Never mind. Ignore me, guys. Um, what we want to do, and this might be tough, because I don't think we have the the movement speed we want. There's a hint over there. Oh well, whatever, dude. We'll take this death. I was hoping maybe I could get to it. It was quite a feat to be pierced simultaneously by 18 spikes. Chuck felt pain in every inch of his body, but kept an optimistic smile because he had fulfilled some of some bizarre achievement. Dude, it's hard to read when the text is moving so slowly. You know what I mean? Like you can't get a cadence of what's gonna come. You nailed it. Okay, there we go. Ending number 22 for us. Pretty cool shit. I'm proud of us guys. We're getting mega endings here. Pretty awesome stuff. Anyway, let's, let's traverse over top of the mountain. I'll see you guys over there once we read this. Who would have thought that having 18 holes in the body could be non-fatal? I mean, that'd be the, honestly, that's a porn star's dream. Somehow, Chuck was back in town and ready to give his adventure another shot. Wow, we looked a little fucked up. All right, guys, here we are. We're gonna climb the mountain this time. We're not gonna fall for any distractions, no altars, no stupid stuff like that. I don't care. We're gonna be going straight up and over this thing. No strawberry to distract us this time. That damn strawberry was way too tasty last time. I couldn't help it. Um, and we should be good to just... Yep, we are up here. 
I don't remember those two little minions being there last time. Ah, I'm sure they were. Dude, it's weird being so far away from our character. Not used to this. Oh, it looks like someone died over there with a sign. Let's go give that a let's go give that a little peek. If we can cut through. Hello, I'm Miguel, one of the creators of this world. I'm collecting some strawberries here. Um, kind of want to kill him, but we can't right now, so that's a shame. What's this sign say? I broke my leg, but I achieved my dream. Please let me rest in peace with my strawberries, your cousin. Okay, cool. Um, can't interact with any of those two um, items there, past what we can right now. Something's wrong with the mountain here, which makes me feel like we can go inside of it, maybe? No. All right, off to the right we go. And this is looking ominous. Dark cliff. Oh, jeez. Faith can give you wings. Goodbye, cruel world. Without hesitation, Chuck jumped off the cliff. He knew he could make it if he had enough faith. He did not have enough faith. <laughs> but nope, he didn't have enough. <laughs> Oh shit, ending 33 of 100 for us there, dude. Some good stuff. I'm proud of us, guys. We got a bunch of endings today. Um, like I said, there was one ending I got off screen, so I will show you guys that at the end of the video. I was uh, trying to figure some stuff out and accidentally ran into that. After a video of his jump going viral, Chuck had to stay at home for some time to avoid all that trolling by young millennials. Dude, relatable, man. I know how you feel. Oh, look at us, dude. We have a walker now. We're like old people. Anyway, enjoy this ending I found off screen. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and have a fantastic day, you wonderful fucks. What is this? What did I just find? Jesus was clueless. He just wanted some new ending. And not being able to find it made him feel empty from the inside. So he decided to put himself out of his misery using his sword. Wait, you can kill yourself with your own sword? Okay.